Hi everyone, we're back at the piano and I'd like to share an idea with you today that's pretty something that, that comes up for a lot of people. It's playing from the keys up. And what is that? We seem to have some kind of, let's call it a preconceived notion that we play down to the keys. Which can happen, but most of the time the right way to play is from the keys. So it's a funny thing because we often see pianists play and do things like this, or even let's take for example Tchaikovsky concerto. We'll see that sort of thing. So it looks like it looks like we're going down onto the keys. It looks like this is happening, like we're landing on, which can happen again. This is just not, not the most accurate way of playing and not, not the way of getting the best kind of sound, let's say the best control over the sound that you're getting. So it's possible to play from the keys, which means that when the attack happens, I'm already in place. So let's say I'm playing this, let's take this here. If I'm playing this, I'm already in place. Everything's already placed. And let's say I want, I want to do a fortissimo. I'm not having less sound because I'm here. So this is just to know that it's it's possible. You can work within this small space that we have without going down on it. It's not making as great of a sound as this. It's quite different and quite interesting. So again, we have this, sometimes it looks like people are doing this, but what we're actually doing is Landing on placing and then playing. So that's quite different. Sometimes, because of this, if you're gonna go, you don't have to go up like this, but you might just go like, like this. Could even be fortissimo without leaving the keys. Right? So it's not necessary to leave. But if you want to, it becomes very obvious that one of the most important factors that's happening here is not only the weight which is happening by the connection if you can bring your knees up like this you feel how how you're pushing that weight into the piano we're going to make another video on that when you come to my master class we're going to talk about how to get your weight into the piano but this if you're going really fast and that's the second element is the speed you can test by maybe putting your hand here and playing by hitting this. So you can see how there's a lot of speed involved. So if you're going something like that, it's just to get more speed. That's something that can happen. It doesn't even need to be loud. The speed of attack is there. So for most of what we're doing, pretty much anything, it doesn't matter, uh, you're going from the keys up. I want to show you a few examples of this. Let's say you were going to do, here's a pretty good example, Beethoven Fourth Piano Concerto. Of course, you, would not, you wouldn't go, but everything you do should be the same. The same as you would play this. You're going to find your sound in this little space right here that we have, about that, that big. It's just it's not even a centimeter. So you're going to go get your sound in there. Even if it was louder. That's not the case for this piece. But you should play anything as you would play this. Again, you wouldn't go... See how inaccurate that is? you get the sound and usually that's because you're landing on it but there's a contact a very there's a contact that's happening before the attack so you might do something like this if you so desire but there's a contact being made you're not simply landing on it like this so when you do see amazing pianists play, 
and do something like this, they are making a contact, a very tactile contact with the chord before attacking it. So that's very important. Put the chord in your hand before playing it. You don't need to do this for this situation. I would go more like that. So it doesn't matter what you would have if you were playing Chopin Third Sonata. You wouldn't go like this. You risk to miss the first note going like this. So this is the same for anything. You're starting from the keys. You wouldn't go either. Something like that. something else. Let's say you're playing this Haydn sonata. So you have this part that goes so it might look like I'm going but I'm not doing that. While that is quite interesting, there's such a lack of precision in what I'm doing. I, I wouldn't trust myself to do this while I'm doing it right now, again, I'm making as much as, as possible of this, this contact before the attack. So I would do it exactly from the key. So again, we're going up, but then the next chord is placed, and the next one is placed. That's going into something else. suggestions. I love it. And until next time.